Welcome to Catholic News World. Welcome to Catholic News World. Please subscribe to our channel. My name is Steph. Here are this week's breaking news headlines. A U.S. religion census shows Catholics are the largest religion with over 61 million in the USA and are growing. The U.S. religion census shows both stability and change in congregational life. The 2020 religion census has data on 372 religious bodies across the nation. The material on the website includes counts of congregations and adherents for each of the 372 groups in every county, or county equivalent, in the United States. This data is available in report form and in maps, and the entire dataset can be downloaded in spreadsheet format. Religious congregational life is alive and well, according to results of the Religion Census, USRC, which was released on November 11. The USRC, conducted every 10 years by the Association of Statisticians of American Religious Bodies, shows stability in overall numbers of congregations and adherents but substantial changes for some religious bodies. The USRC is the most comprehensive effort to document religious life in every U.S. county. It identified 372 religious bodies, 356,739 congregations, and 161,371,931 adherents in 2020. Among the 212 religious bodies participating in both the 2010 and 2020 USRC, the number of congregations increased 2.2% and the number of adherents increased 6.5%, while the total population increased 7.4% during this time. Changes varied by body. The decrease in certain denominations and increase in non-denominational churches may be a result of the same factors, said Scott Thumma, director of the Hartford Institute for Religion Research, who counted independent churches for the USRC. The Catholic Church has the most adherents, with more than 61 million, the Southern Baptist Convention has the most congregations, with more than 51,000, and the United Methodist Church is in the most counties, 2,989. The number of Muslims increased from 2.6 million to 4.5 million. The USRC includes congregation counts of five other non-Christian bodies and congregation and adherent counts for Baha'i, three Buddhist groups, three Hindu groups, and four Jewish groups. Oriental Orthodox Christians have surged but Eastern Orthodox have decreased. Vatican News reports that an attack in the Democratic Republic of Congo, Africa, has left 131 civilians dead. The Democratic Republic of Congo is expecting Pope Francis' apostolic visit at the end of January. The attack occurred in the eastern North Kivu province at the end of November. A report from the United Nations claims the massacre in the two villages appeared to be a reprisal for a current government assault on the rebels. Like the UN, the government blames the massacre on the M23 rebel group, which rejected responsibility. In the report, the UN said 102 men, 17 women and 12 children were arbitrarily executed by M23 as part of reprisals against the civilian population. An investigation has already been opened by the Attorney General into the atrocity in which children were killed in a church and a hospital. The Congolese Army and the M23, a Tutsi rebel group, have been fighting for months and the alleged attack will likely break the ceasefire agreement in the region reached in November. In Malta, on December 4, 20,000 people participated in the largest march for life in many years. The government of Malta wants to weaken the strong pro-life law. But, the population does not want this. Bishops also took part in the largest rally on the island in many years. Malta is the only European country that fully protects unborn babies from abortion. It was led by former President Marie-Louise Calero Prica, Malta's top Catholic bishop and the leader of the conservative opposition, residents of the island nation say they wanted to remain one of the only countries in Europe to protect babies from abortions. We are here to be the voice of the unborn child, said 19-year-old university student Maria Formosa, one of the speakers at the rally. The Catholic bishops of Malta have joined a growing throng of opposition to a bill that could legalize the killing of unborn babies and abortions for basically any reason in the small European nation. In a message last week, Malta Archbishop Charles Shikluna, 
Gozo Bishop Anton Tuma and Auxiliary Bishop Joseph Galia Kermi urged lawmakers to respect the dignity of every human being, born and unborn, Malta Today reports. Keeping Christ in Christmas 43 U.S. state capitals to have public nativity scenes this Christmas. The Thomas More Society and American Nativity Scene are helping to support 43 nativities on government property. The Thomas More Society reported that they and the American Nativity Scene are collaborating with a growing number of private citizen groups across the nation to display manger scenes on government property this Christmas. State capitals in Alaska, New York, Utah, and Virginia are scheduled to feature the traditional display of the Holy Family with baby Jesus in the manger for the first time this year. Ed O'Malley, president of the American Nativity Scene, observed, in 2022, we are pleased to announce that 42 state capital nativity scenes, the most to date, are scheduled to be erected at state capitals this Christmas season. The message of hope delivered by the baby Jesus celebrates the joy of new life, shared O'Malley. This troubled world can benefit from more hope and more joy. The American nativity scene works closely with attorneys at the Thomas More Society to make sure that those desiring to sponsor a state capital nativity scene can do so, as allowed by law. Many erroneously assume that government entities are prohibited from allowing a religious display, explained Thomas More Society Vice President and Senior Counsel Thomas Olp. The law is clear. Government entities may erect and maintain celebrations of the Christmas holiday, or allow citizens to do so on government property, including nativity scenes, as long as a crush's sole purpose is not to promote its religious content and it is placed in context with other symbols of the season as part of an effort to celebrate the public Christmas holiday through traditional symbols. We pray that the nativity scenes of the Christmas season will help to foster a sense of unity and peace on earth. Watch our program every Friday at 7:30 p.m. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Catholic News World Channel. God bless. Please subscribe to Catholic News World's YouTube channel. Thanks and God bless.